What is going on everyone? This video is about how to convert a list of tuples in Python to a pandas data frame. If you are using popular Python libraries, for example, PSYCOPG2 to query a Postgres database, for example, you may see that the data is being returned in this format where we have tuples for each row that is wrapped in a list. So let's walk through how to convert this in a pandas data frame. Since there is not only one way to achieve this, I'm going to show two different methods you can use. All right, so we're in our Jupyter Notebook here and I've went ahead to import the pandas library as PD. And our next line is our sample data we're going to be working with. So we can see here we have our data, which is in this records variable. As you can see here, we have our tuples wrapped in a Python dictionary. So within each tuple, we can see we have a first name, a last name, and an email address. And it repeats for each tuple. And in our column variable, we can see that the order is matching that. So for example, our first string is the first name, second string is the last name, and then the third string is our email. So we're gonna be using the records variable and column variable to create our pandas data frame. So let's talk about the first method that we can use to do this. So we're gonna create a new variable, which stands for data frame for, so it's gonna be called the F, and then we're going to call our pandas library. So PD dot, then we're gonna use the data frame class. And now the first parameter is going to be data. And we're going to make that equal to our records variable. So we're going to make that equal to data. Now this by itself is going to work. So if we give that a run and we use the head method to get our first five lines of our data set, we're going to see that we now have a pandas data frame. However, we are missing the column names. So in order to get our column names in our data set, we're going to add a second parameter. It's going to be called columns. And we're simply going to make that equal to our columns variable from our sample data. And we're going to rerun that pandas data frame. Now, if we reprint our pandas data frame, we now see that the columns are being defined in our pandas data frame. This is great. So without having to change the format of our list of tuples, pandas is automatically able to convert into a pandas data frame. Great. So let's talk about method two in order to get a pandas data frame from our sample data. So the second method we're going to do is allow us to actually filter out columns that we don't want. We're going to create a new variable called df2 and we're going to make that equal to pd.data frame and now we're going to pass in a new method called from underscore records this time and again we're going to pass in data is equal to records and also then pass in our columns is equal to columns now, if I run this by itself, this will work as well. So let's just give that a run. We got no error, but let's just print our results just to show us dot head. And as you can see here, just like the first method, this works as well. So if you're trying to bring in all the data, you can use both methods just fine. However, with this from record method, it adds the add value that we can add in another parameter called exclude. All right, so with this exclude, we can pass in a list of the columns we actually want to exclude. So because we went ahead to already define our columns of our data, we now all we're going to have to do is pass in the column that we do not want to include in our pandas data frame. So let's say we want to not include the first name. So we can now say exclude and pass in the string of first name. Just make that more readable here. And now we're going to give that a run. Now, if we print our pandas data frame, you now see that we only get two columns being returned and we see that first name has been filtered out. So there you go. We've successfully converted a list of tuples into a pandas data frame in Python. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button for me. And if you're interested in more videos on working with data in Python, as well as working with data on AWS, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks again and see you next time.